Guess who's back? It's me. I'm back. <laughs> if you don't remember me or if you're new here, I'm Hannah Rupp and this is my monthly thrift haul video where I'm going to show you everything I thrifted in the month of January. And I make these videos every month, so be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you're the first to know when I upload new videos. Or you can just follow me all over online because I love to brag about when I post new videos. <laughs> I guess we'll start with the obvious. I thrifted the board game Guess Who? Can you believe I haven't owned this game since the 90s? That's wild. The next mystery item that I thrifted is another board game called Mystery Mansion, which there's actually an 80s edition that I saw in some of my old catalogs that I really wanted, but I saw this one, it was from the 90s, I was like, hey, if it works, I'm good with it. Plus, tell me this guy does not look like some knockoff Al Borland from Home Improvement. Next, I got magazines, always, of course, forever. And I have some magazines that I didn't actually thrift, but I bought them on eBay, so they're technically secondhand. So you might notice I love an 80s teen magazine and I've only ever come across them one time in my 25 years of thrifting. So I found this lot of them on eBay, six new to me teen magazines. Um, I think they're all like 1985, 1986, you know, the good years. And while I will be ripping up the other magazines, these ones will not be getting ripped up. <laughs> Unless there's like a Cory and Cory poster in them, which there's not. <laughs> then I also thrifted Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Wait, didn't I thrift this last time? Yes, I did. Um, I bought it again because the other copy didn't work. But this one worked perfectly fine. Then I got an InSync notebook. So now I officially own more InSync merchandise than all of the band members put together. Sorry, Justin Timberlake. I feel like I have to apologize to Justin Timberlake a lot. It would just be easier if he came to my house and I could apologize in person. Next, I have two vintage Barbie coloring books. I've talked about it before, my sister and I both grew up loving the 80s and 90s era Barbies. Best decade for Barbie, in my opinion. So these are both 91 and they're pretty much perfect to me. Speaking of my sister, she thrifted me a book. It's Mr. T starring at Pirate's Gold. That was a terrible Mr. T impression. And again with my sister. Okay, I bought these Disney One Saturday Morning Valentine's new in the box, and as soon as my sister saw them, she flipped out because, of course, One Saturday Morning was our life in the early 2000s, and I'm kicking myself because there was actually a second box, and I left them behind. I don't know what I was thinking. Rule number one when you have siblings, always buy more than one thing because they're going to be jealous and they're going to try to steal the things from you. I should know this by now. And then a few more book things. I got a few more Babysitter's Club Little Sister books to add to my collection. One of them is missing. I think my brother accidentally got it. I feel like this is one of the coolest thrift dolls I've had in a while, and I really hope you're enjoying yourself. Okay, next I got an emoji pillow. Am I cool now? Normally I wouldn't spend $3 on a pillow, but at this particular store I had a gift card that I had to spend, so it was kind of like, buy whatever, just I don't care. That's my favorite way to thrift. <laughs> Okay, so same store as the emoji pillow when I'm just trying to spend money. I picked up this like brand new, in really good condition, black, I'm guessing faux leather, backpack. It says it's Target brand. Now their price was $10.50 and ain't no way I would spend $10.50 on a backpack or anything really. But you know, I had the gift card so it was pretty much free to me. And really cool backpacks have been on my thrifting wish list. And now for the main attraction of my thrift haul, clothes and accessories. The first one is something that you absolutely cannot see, so I could say it's literally anything. <laughs> you wouldn't know. It is a ring, and in black and white letters, it spells out the word spice. When I first picked it up, I just saw the word ice, and I'm like, oh, maybe it's vanilla ice. But then it was so much better because it's Spice Girls. <laughs> and it fits my oddly small hands. And then I picked up not one, but two pairs of sunglasses, because again, I was trying to blow through a gift card. <laughs> Just because I was wasting money doesn't mean that I don't like them. I think they're really awesome. So these ones have sort of like this milky white clear half rim. Do we like? I hate it when people ask that. And the second pair are these, I don't know how to describe them. They're black and they're kind of different. <laughs> I don't know, they just make me feel really cool and artsy. So getting closer to actual clothes, I got this black rainbow belt. And it's elastic, which I love everything with elastic. Then I got a Ghostbusters t-shirt, which I used to have one, but I had to get rid of it. So now I have one back again. Another t-shirt that I found is this one, which you're probably like, skateboarding? Um, I totally rode a skateboard at least one time in the 90s. 
Anyway, what I liked about it was it was a really cool graphic. It reminded me of the movie Rad, which is something I still have not thrifted. But besides the graphic, I noticed at the bottom it said 1986. I don't know if that means that the image is from 1986 or the actual t-shirt, the whole thing, would be from 1986. I want to hope this is from 1986, but that might be wishful thinking. Either way, it's a Rad t-shirt. I did not realize I bought so many t-shirts, so this next one is just a plain gray, kind of slouchy, oversized top from H&M. Just one more way to make me look cute while I'm being lazy. Thanks, H&M. Then, on my hunt for a gray cardigan, I came across this gray blazer-ish thing. That's a very technical term. I saw the Forever 21 label, and I knew right away that it reminded me of this floral blazer thing I had thrifted when I went to Austin, Texas a few years ago, and it's like one of my favorite jackets. I hardly wear it, but it's just it's so pretty to look at, and it's just it's so different because it's not like an actual blazer, and it's definitely not a cardigan. I love weird clothes. <laughs> okay, then this is just a plain black dress, nothing weird here. Just my personal preferences, I'm probably going to cut it just to be a tad shorter so it has more of a, a grungy vibe rather than a, than a dowdy vibe. That's just my personal preference. And now for once I'm actually going to end my thrift haul on like a high note. I feel like I always end on something really stupid or random. This is like the piece de resistance. Prepare yourselves for the most amazing sequin sweater. Beverly Goldberg, eat your heart out. Like, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, Beverly Goldberg would totally wear that. And you should already know that I'm a huge fan of the Goldbergs on ABC. It was funny because at the store that I bought it at, I wasn't interested in looking at the clothes, but I happened to, like, look down the aisle and I did a double take when I'm like, are those rainbow colored sequins? And so I just went and grabbed it. I was like, I don't care what it is or what size it is, I'm just gonna buy it. <laughs> Thankfully, it ended up really good. So, it's sequins. They're rainbow. They're striped. It's a sweater. And it's sort of a longer sweater, so it's almost like a sweater dress. Dare I say it's the perfect sweater? I feel like it's something that Katie from Grift Your Heart Out would also freak out about. On that note, I have a question for you guys. For my next video, would you rather see a lookbook featuring the clothes that I thrifted today? Or would you rather see a lookbook that would be like Valentine's Day themed? No doubt I would try to sneak in the sequin sweater into the Valentine's Day lookbook if that's a determining factor for you. So let me know down in the comments. That is all I have to share with you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this haul lived up to your expectations. I know I'm really happy with the way it turned out for what it's worth. <laughs> if you didn't get enough, be sure to follow me online. Sometimes I post when I'm thrifting or I'll just share pictures of the stuff that I thrifted, especially on Instagram. All of my social links are down below. So maybe I'll see you there or I'll just see you guys in my next video.